with our 2023 budgets, our goal is to continue the tremendous amount of improvements that we've been making both on the water and the sanitary sewer systems. Here where we're at at Indian Lake, we completely renovated this plant inside and out. New roof, new electrical power supply. We've expanded our SCADA that we started with our Rich R plant in 2019. That has been expanded to this plant as well as the Fort Harrison plant. We've added standby power generators at both Fort Harrison and Indian Lake so that all of our water treatment facilities now can operate independent of the power grid. So at every plant, I can continue to produce water even if they lose power to both the plant and the wells. Obviously, we won't really have any tremendous need for plant improvements here in the very near future, but what we're going to continue on is our water main replacement project. So since 2017, we've replaced approximately 35,000 linear feet of water main in the city of Lawrence, mostly in the older parts of the city. And in 2023, we're gonna to continue to do that. We also are going to continue to work on our meter change out program, which is a program where we change out 2,000 to 2,500 residential water meters every year. We are also working in 2022, we started talking with DNR about putting new production wells in our Fort Harrison well field. And in 2023, our plan is to complete the installation of those two new wells. With the adoption of our 2022 sanitary sewer rate increase and bond ordinances, we will have $20 million in sanitary sewer funds available to start doing projects to complete our compliance with our EPA mandates. We are tasked with making improvements to our sewer system in order to solve or resolve the sanitary sewer overflow problems that we have here in the city. The other big thing we're gonna do in 2023 is actually undertake another water rate study. Our goal is to minimize any future rate increases by doing them more frequently. All of our employees here at Lawrence Utilities do a tremendous job each and every day. They're on call 24 seven. And when they're needed and when the call goes out, they come in and they, and they fix what's broke. And that doesn't only happen in, the, in nice weather and, and convenient hours. And so I just want to extend my gratitude to each and every one of them and thank them sincerely for all their hard work each and every day.